Hey guys, it's Amber from the WOW Creative Team. Today I'm using the Petite Gel Press Set to create 16 prints and heat emboss them with pearl embossing powder. I'm gonna share tips and tricks to get that embossing powder to stick if your paint has already dried. There's so much to share, so let's get started. Okay, so what I have here are the Gel Press Petites. And what this is, is a set of three small gel press that are all three inches. So you've got a three inch circle, three inch triangle, and three inch square. And I thought that these would be a little bit more manageable for me. I'm not super familiar with mixed media or gel press work. And I thought that these would be a great size for card making, which is mostly what I do. So I've snagged a few of my kids craft paint here. This is just acrylic paint from Michaels. And the paint is a little old, so I find that the texture of the acrylic paint, it was either had a couple dry pieces in it, and then also some of them were a little watery. You can see that my brayer here is not wanting to roll in one direction, which is a little strange. And I think it's because the paint was so slick because it was a little watery. Um, so make sure that you shake up your paints really well. Here you can see it's rolling a little bit better, but it does get stuck. So in any case, I kind of just went with it and all of the projects seem to turn out okay, but you can see me trying to get this rolling here. So I'm adding three colors. I'm using white as a base, then I added a sky blue and a green here. And what I'm gonna be doing today is using some stencils. So here I have the sketched line stencil from All to New, and I put the stencil over the gel press and then I'm putting a piece of cardstock on it. Now, I was thinking that the paint would come through the stencil. Totally not the case with this stencil, you guys. The lines are so fine on this particular stencil, literally no paint transferred at all. So no worries, we're just gonna take the stencil off and we'll go ahead and put the paper directly down on the gel press. So here you can see by the time I got to this point, my paint had dried a little bit. So I'm just gonna cover it up with some white again to get it nice and juicy. And then I'll put another sheet of cardstock down. This is Nina Classic Cross Solar White. It's already pre-cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. Here are the first two prints and I'm gonna show you the prints as we go and then I'll do a run through of all 16 prints and then the cards at the end. So I'm adding some more paint here and the pieces of tape that you see, I just have it marked off so that when I lay down my cardstock, I can get the square in the center um, so that it's somewhat centered on my cardstock. Now here I decided I wanted to do a diamond so you can see that how that print came out. Then I'm gonna add the paint that I have on the brayer plus, plus a little bit of navy acrylic paint and then some green as well. And the next stencil that I'm going to use is the Flowing Butterfly stencil. That one was too small, so I opted for Flowing Butterfly, which is this one, which is, has a larger butterfly on it. So I just went ahead and took that off. Now this is gonna take up a whole bunch of paint. So this will be a really thick, thick one. And then there's still some paint left over on the stencil, so I'm gonna pop that back on to transfer the paint and then I'll take a second print. So pretty much with each one of these, I did two prints and it's almost like a positive and negative. So you can see that here. And then I'm gonna switch over to the circle. So I'm gonna put down a base of white and pink and orange. I'm gonna do them all together. Now, because I did it like that with all three colors and I'm rolling over it, the paints really mixed quite a bit. So I ended up with a light peach color. So you can see that here. I will do this pattern again because I liked it so much, but with some brighter pinks a little later in the video. And that's the one that you'll see that I'll heat emboss. But I do love how this rose bouquet stencil and the circle gel press, I think this is a really cool pattern for both of these. So I really liked that one. So here I'm gonna do some pink and some navy. I don't think I added any white to this one. This is the Flowing Drops stencil, also from Alton. You know, this one has wide open spaces, so I can set this down directly over the stencil and get a lot of white space in that pattern, which I really liked. I'll pull the second one, which is a really unique look as well. So I completed all 16 prints before I decided to do the heat embossing. 
This will be one of the last ones that I do and then we'll move on to heat embossing. So this paint is really dry. So you're gonna see me go ahead and try and heat emboss this and literally nothing sticks to it. The, this was basically leftover paint that was on the brayer that I then put on the gel press. And so everything is pretty much dry as soon as you take the print. Well, that's not gonna work. Our heat embossing isn't gonna stick to it. This one had some chunky paint that was still wet and you can see that it sticks to that really well. So what I would recommend if you're heat embossing these is right after you do your print, go ahead and do your heat embossing and that's what I'm gonna show you here. So I really loved the print that we got with the circular gel press and the rose bouquet stencil. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull two more prints for that and then we'll heat emboss it right away. And the embossing powders that I'm using today are gold pearl, which is what this is here. And I'll also use white pearl on a couple of the prints. You'll see that soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle that over and I'm not gonna heat emboss it right now. I'm gonna get my powders on because as long as you get your powders on, it can sit for a while before you heat emboss it and it'll still stick. And in fact, all of these powders sat on these card panels for about 12 hours before I actually heat set them and melted them with the heat tool. So the, it really sticks for a long time. Now for some of these that are already dry, I decided I would try to spritz them with water and see if I could get the embossing powder to stick that way. This is the white pearl embossing powder. When I flip this over, I'm careful to flip it quickly because I wasn't sure how much overspray of the water got on the rest of the card. And you can see that I got a nice coating. So I'm gonna do that again here. My spray was totally off to the side, so same thing. I'm gonna flip this over quickly to try and prevent it from getting everywhere else. And with your water, it's not sticky like your embossing pad. So don't flick the cardstock too hard, otherwise your embossing powder is just gonna fall right off. So for this one, I'm gonna switch gears and use the Wow Embossing Pen because this has a great design on it. So I thought just outlining some of these white areas would be a good way to go. So I'm just using some broken lines, adding some detail here and there, and then we'll go ahead and sprinkle on the gold. I did use the gold for the majority of these panels because I thought it would show up best on camera. The white pearl is so beautiful as well, just a little harder for you guys to see on camera. So that's the WOW embossing pen. Now I'm going to use the WOW mixed media brush tool here. And so what I'm doing is I'm getting off the majority of the embossing gel. I'm kind of just squishing that off. And I wish, so you can see I'm using the, the brush, you know, like you would normally use it here. And I wish I had used the more narrow side because these lines are thicker than I really wanted them to be. But I did want them to be thicker than what I would have gotten with the pen. So this time with the pen, I'm just kind of adding some small dots here and here, here and there because that goes with this printed pattern better. So you can see that there. And then I have all this leftover pink on my brayer and I was about to clean it, but I decided, let me just go ahead and roll this off onto another card panel. This ended up being one of my favorite backgrounds. So you can see I'm just rolling that over it then I'll go ahead and clean the brayer with some baby wipes, and then I'm gonna roll the brayer onto the WOW embossing pad. So there's so many different ways that you can add the embossing powders to your card. So we've used the brayer, we put it directly onto the wet acrylic paint, we use the WOW embossing pen, the mixed media tool, we spritzed it with water to emboss, and here I'm just gonna take off some of the embossing powder. So with the brayer, because it's such a wide surface, I wanted to have not straight edges, I wanted them to be a little more um, rough looking, distressed looking, so I just knocked some of that off. Then we'll go ahead and heat set it. You wanna make sure that your heat tool has been preheated for 30 to 60 seconds to make sure it's good and hot. And there you can see how beautiful that gold pearl embossing is. Again, we put that on with the pin. This is one that we put the embossing powder straight onto the wet acrylic paint, and you can see that it has more height to that. There's more depth to the embossing powder because the acrylic paint was thick and had some height to it. So I those were my favorite, were the ones where we put it directly onto the acrylic paint. This was the one with the brayer. You can see how pretty that turned out. And this is one of the ones that we sprayed with the mini mister of water. 
So let's run through the 16 gel press panels that were created. That was one with the brayer. This was one of the triangle ones that I did off camera. That one I didn't emboss, but I do love that pattern. Here we have with the circular one and the rose bouquet. We've got that one with the mixed media brush, another triangle. There was the circle with the leftover paint that was on the brayer. There's another brayer one. And then here you can see the depth of the embossing powder when it's put directly on the acrylic paint. So now to make some cards. So I didn't make cards with all 16 of the panels. I did make six cards. So here I've die cut a sentiment and I'm just gonna press that directly into the ink pad. And that was just the release paper because I popped up, I die cut one of the prints out and I popped it up on sticky back fun foam. So I've covered this in the white pearl embossing powder and I'm just melting that down and then I'll get this popped up on the card and we'll run through the cards here. So I mostly use die cut sentiments because I really wanted the backgrounds that we made to stand on their own and I didn't wanna cover them up too much. And as I said, I'll have all of the supplies that I use listed down below. The majority of them are from Alta New. And so here's the one that we embossed the sentiment with the white pearl embossing powder and that was a pink cardstock that I used. This one I love, this lovely die cut is from Picket Fence Studios. And this was the Brayer card. And that, that sentiment is actually cut out of gold Star Dream metallic cardstock. So those are the cards. So many different ways that you can add embossing powder to your gel press prints. And I hope that you guys enjoyed these techniques today. If you give them a try, tag wow embossing powder and at notable ink. We'd love to see what you're creating and be sure to enter your creations with pearl embossing powders on our monthly challenge on our Facebook fan page. I'll have a link to that down below. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and ringing that bell so you don't miss any new inspiration. Here's a couple more videos for you before you leave and I'll see you real soon.